in association with Pace Notes. with the 2003 Dunlop National Rally Championship. Over the course of the year, we visited 10 different counties, each offering spectacular stages with brilliantly run events. The next two and a half hours will be dedicated to bringing you some of the top highlights from the year and some of the best onboard footage. You won't see it anywhere else, so sit back and enjoy. Last season, Niall Maguire had a phenomenal run to success and his second national title. Victory in all but two of the rounds he contested was the formula for the championship. He first won the series back in 1999. But with the quality of the World Rally Cars in this year's championship, he won't have it all his own way. We're here with reigning champion Niall Maguire, the guy that all want to beat. Niall, you've won the championship now twice. You drive a World Rally car, but there are nine other World Rally cars competing against you here today. How's your confidence? I'm um, a confidence at the moment is quite good there, but I uh, have Eugene Donnelly behind me there who won the Galway International Rally, and these stages here would suit Eugene down to a T. And then you have Michael Barbell in the P2000, and, and you have uh, Jim Harrison all over from England in the P2000 as well. But it'll be a very interesting rally because I tell you, every one of them boys can drive so they can, so it's up to me to go as hard as I can go, you know. Michael, you had your fair share of mechanical problems last season. And in saying that, you did have two superb wins. What are your expectations for this year in rallying? Well, this year's had more wins. Uh, we're looking for more reliability this year. We're seriously ch ch chasing the championship this year. We refettled the car over the winter with Pro Drive, and uh, we're really looking forward to a good start of the year, which is out, which is the thing we kind of lacked is getting a good start at the beginning of the year. So we're looking forward to a good result here today. Eugene, you've come a long way from the G3 Escort, and you're now driving one of the top world rally cars involved here today. Will it be flat out from the word go? I don't think so. No, it's it's uh, there's a lot of a lot of competition here today. The conditions look to like they're going to be very tricky, and uh, I would say this is not a, a rally to be going flat out from the start. It's a, a rally to pace yourself and see what the opposition's doing and uh, try and get a feel for the conditions out there. Jim, you came very close to a win here last year in Ballina, losing out by just 12 seconds to Niall Maguire. Are you hoping perhaps to secure that win today here in Mayo? Um, yeah, we'll give it a go. We're in a different car again this year, so a um, few things to learn this year. Um, and we haven't been out for quite a while since last May, so, uh, uh, you know, we're always hopeful and obviously we're going to give it our best shot, you know. Um, we'll see how we get on. It's hard to believe that it's been five months since the last championship event. However, the marshals are enthusiastic, the spectators eager and the drivers hungry for the road as a new season gets underway. Reigning national tarmac champions Niall Maguire and Paul McLaughlin took a gamble running on intermediates on these slippy conditions, but they will finish the stage six seconds off the lead and down in third place. Following his recent win in the West International Rally and currently Irish national forestry champion, Eugene Donnelly running on full wets gained valuable seconds over Maguire to put the Derryman in the lead on this opening stage. Unseen jump, OK, 45 left. Into square left, stay middle. Square left, stay middle here, 40. One right. Crest jump, stay middle, bad water, 170. Third on the road, Michael Barrable was second fastest through stage one. The Dubliner was delighted with the impressive performance and Michael is another strong contender for today's podium with just a second behind Donnelly after stage one. And up to press again, flat 800, maybe water. Up to press under three, go, flat 1000. And up to press, go, flat 1500 to the bottom. 90 left in front of you. Mod, 90 left, mod. Flat 600. English visitor Jim Harrison has been close to winning a national rally more than once in the past. 
this unfortunate overshoot early on stage one as he tries to select reverse gear caused Harrison to lose valuable seconds and appeared to unsettle him for the rest of the event. Patrick Elliott, a former Group N national champion, is taking it nice and easy in his newly acquired Subaru WRC. Charlie Donnelly, however, is driving in his usual flat-out style. Although this much power is new to Charlie, he is certainly not holding back. Left onto a small jump, 40, into a caution, four left over bump, caution, four left over bump, into a four right, don't cut, four right, don't cut. Despite a misted windscreen on this stage, Kieran Shaw is full of confidence behind the wheel of his escort. A newly installed intercooler has given him the extra power he needs for championship points today. At the top, flat crest, 100. At the blue sign, flat crest, 400. Adrian McIlvany guided his new Subaru impressively through this stage and was 10th fastest. McIlvany appears to be adapting comfortably since the changeover from the Evo 6. 60. Four right line over big crest. 60. Keep right of middle over big crest. 80. Three right plus in, don't cut. James Gillen and Victor Carruthers in their Ford Escort Cosworth are regulars in the championship and put in a good performance to lie ninth overall. Third overall in last year's championship, Sean Gallagher is experiencing some gear selection problems, but his pace here indicating that Gallagher aims to finish higher this year. In the big crest jump on 50, and danger, big jump over crossroads middle, and big crest jump, 40. 60, double caution, six left, Titans. Not a good start for Glenn Allen, as his escort is only firing on three cylinders. Ivan Stewart created quite a stir in the opening stage, and his escort finishing fourth with a time of 6.49. All is not right on board Maguire's Subaru, as car is overheating. Sadly, he won't make it to the next stage, so no championship points today. There's no holding back on Eugene Donnelly. He powers his way to another fastest stage time and increases his lead to 27 seconds. Using all his racing experience, Michael Barable guides his Subaru around the stages. And as we can see, the conditions are getting worse. Absolute crest, under three, flat 1,000. Absolute crest, go, flat 1,500 to the bottom. 90 left, 90 left. Jim Harrison paid another visit to the spot where he had an encounter on the first loop. Despite the indiscretion, he holds on to seventh place. Patrick Elliott has picked up the pace after his big spin on stage one and now lies sixth overall. Although Charlie Donnelly is 43 seconds behind Barable, he's not holding back. 130 break early. 130 break early. Table caution bumps and square right. 100. Small crest jump and jump 80. Adrian McIlvany and Paul Goodman are up to fifth, having sorted out a misfire in their Subaru on the fourth stage. Repeat six right, water. And crest. In two, three left. 120 over the water, keep right over big crest. Kieran Shaw has moved into the top 10, courtesy of a good choice of tyres over this loop of stages. And three left, three left, 100. Watch slow, four left, closes, and a three right, and a three right, 80. Keep left over Brian, 80. A slight off into the scenery has cost Sean Gallagher a few seconds, although his escort Codsworth seems none the worst for wear. And two left, 40. Five right, into water on right, into four right. Five right, into four right. 80 pass sign.
And into stage eight, rally leader Eugene Donnelly continues to extend his lead with yet another fastest time. But he's in a rush to get into service to check a transmission problem that threatens his rally. One right over small crest, break into five left plus, descriptive, 200. Small flat crest bump, 60. Crest bump dip, 100. Four left, four left here. No problem for Michael Barable. He is secure in second and conscious of a need to make a good start to the championship. Absolute crest at shed, go, 1,000 here. And absolute crest again, go, 3,000. Absolute big crest, follow wires, 1,000 to the bottom, medium left. 1,000 after this, medium left. A man on the move, that is Jim Harrison. Even with a few spins and a visit to the scenery, he keeps that fourth place from the charging McIlvany. Becoming more familiar with the WRC, Adrian McIlvany is now becoming a little more adventurous as he puts on the power. Crest 30, six left, neat. And crest, neat Adrian, and crest into two left, 40. Crest into two right and keep middle over crest. Patrick Elliott's lightened impressive proves that was purely cosmetic damage to the Elliott construction Subaru as he holds on to sixth. The entertainer of this downhill hotel Mayo rally, Charlie Donnelly, slides his Celica to maintain an impressive third despite having to cope with no power steering. Double caution, square left, slippy on gravel. And here comes one of those power steering problems. on their debut outing in a Subaru was a job well done for Adrian McIlvany and Paul Goodman. Flying through the last three stages, Jim Harrison takes fourth in the rally and third in the championship. Charlie Donnelly is a happy man. His brother Eugene gave him this car as a 40th birthday present. And that's another reason to celebrate third overall. In their star-backed Pirelli Subaru, Michael Barable and Dermot O'Gorman secure a second place and 18 championship points. But Eugene Donnelly and Paul Kiley bring the EnviroCare and Pretza home in first position after a faultless run throughout the Downhill House Hotel Mayo Stages Rally. <laughs> this programme is brought to you by MicroCam your onboard camera specialists. Four, three, two, one, away you go. 60 uphill, bump 60, flat press jump 130. One right over small crest, break into five left plus, descriptive, 200. Small flat crest bump 60. Press bump dip, 100, four left, four left here. 80, break early, caution, five right. Six right, shiny, 200. Caution mud, five left, slippy, 60. Five right, slippy, small crest into one left, into four left. And three right plus, four left here, three right plus, 60. Turn six right plus, turn here. And six left immediately, 40. Small flat crest, 130. Small flat crest, 60. Downhill bump dip, 80. Caution, small crest turn, sudden square left. Plus, gravel bump, 40. Break, five right, slight right, five left, sudden square left, don't cut, six right, 80. Turn square right, watch the surface, gravel, 150. Slight left into small jump, break, 40, caution, four left. Over bump, 40, three right over bump, 300. Take care, caution, 
Turn hairpin right, don't cut. 170. Small flat crest bump, 200. Turn square left over bump, and four right plus. Opens, don't cut. 130. Four left plus over gravel, 200. Flat one left over small crest bump, 80. Two left, 60. Break, caution, six left tightens. Next one. 130. Downhill, break early, bumps into square right. Bumps into square right. 100. The Monaghan Stages Rally, in association with Ferrodo Brakes. <laughs> Monaghan, hometown of reigning national rally champion Niall Maguire. It's early morning and all quiet in the town. But within a radius of 10 miles, it'll be action all the way on the Hillgrove Hotel Monaghan Stages Rally. <laughs> Maguire with Paul McLaughlin on the notes is first on the road that is quite deceiving as the stage transpires to be very slippy. Maguire clocks a time of 8 minutes and 53 seconds that puts him in fourth place. Eugene Donnelly, who is being co-driven by Paddy Toner on this occasion, finishes the stage eight seconds quicker than Maguire to slot his Toyota Celica in the third once again to illustrate his undoubted ability as a driver. Four right, and six left, and three left plus, and go to square right, to square left. 60, over small crest. A man on an early charge is Michael Barrable. His Subaru WRC screeches and drips around this tight right-hand bend, and Michael is second fastest on the stage. Absolute left of the driveway, go, 800. Absolute right over crest, go, flat 1,000. Absolute right, 1,000. Medium left over crest, 200, turn fast, 90 right. Long absolute right over bumps, 600. Absolute left, 600. Absolute crest and left, and absolute left again at the wall. But there's no stopping British driver Jim Harrison. His McKinstry run Subaru is being pushed to the limit, and it pays dividends as he takes two seconds off the leader, Michael Barrable. David Armstrong is hoping it's third time lucky. His two previous outings have both ended prematurely. He ends stage one in fifth place, 15 seconds off the lead. The Subaru World Rally car of Patrick Elliott has been fully refettled after his brush with the scenery on the first round in Mayo. It may take him a little time to regain his confidence. Adrian McIlvany didn't help his plight by selecting the wrong tyres for the greasy stage. Nevertheless, he's seventh behind Elliott and seems relatively composed in the cockpit of his Subaru. Three left Titans, four. 60. 40 left. 41 right in at the house. In here at the house, 60, two right in. 40, breaking two left, 20. This is the Escort WRC of Glenn Allen, who, like many of the other drivers, made a cautious start and holds the final place in the top 10. Third overall in the Dunlop series last season, Sean Gallagher extracts every ounce of power from his Escort Cosworth and matches some of the more fancied opposition. Six right, three left, six right, here three left, and two right. Into caution, two right, over big crest jump, into two left. 40, two left. Kieran Shaw, in his KBB Doors Escort, just about manages to prevent his car from spinning, as we see just how difficult the conditions are in the driving rain. Ivan Stewart's Escort Cosworth was an early pace setter in Mayo, but not here in Monaghan, as this little excursion cost him vital seconds. Repeat press, jump medium right, and K left. K left here. And caution, bump into K right. And long K left over small crest. 40 over bumps. Open square right and get slippy. 
Alan Nesbitt, brother of Tarmac champion Andrew, is reasonably happy with his performance on what is just his second outing in a Toyota Celica. The stage is wet and Kevin Barrett gets down as much power as he can to drift his car through the stage and keep the smile on someone's face. Former national rally champion George Robinson is using all his old experience in taking no risks as David McNulty, also in his escort Cosworth, makes up several places from his original seating and is on the fringes of the top ten. Local hero Niall Maguire has been in the wars on this third stage. He smacks his Subaru, and the damage to the front left and rear of his Subaru is all too apparent. The reigning champion is under pressure, even if he has moved into third. The varying conditions have meant that most of the drivers have had some drama. Eugene Donnelly is into second. leader Michael Barable powering his way through the stage and we get a view from inside the car just how close the Dubliner came to having a major moment. Medium right cut second half and fast 90 left. What wrong with your Okay right 800 absolute left at the house go 600 absolute right and crest go 600. David Armstrong is flying in the ex Melvin Evans escort but holds fourth place after the opening loop of three stages. We get another reminder just how changeable the conditions are. Sadly, this is the last we see of Jim Harrison, who comes a cropper at the scene where Barable had a moment of concern. Another to bow out on this third stage is Patrick Elliott. Unfortunately, his bid for a good result ends with an off-road excursion on this very slippy stage. No problems for McIlvanny. The nerves have steadied for the 27-year-old. He's an impressive fifth on home ground that he uses to full effect, although tyre choice cost him a few precious seconds. 60, right. 60, straight crest, OK. 60, small crest, into three left, continues, and then tightens at the fence. Glenn Allen had to curtail his drive through stages two and three as the wipers of his escort failed to work. John Gallagher is reveling in the conditions as his escort Cosworth is in eighth place after the opening loop of three stages. 40, crest jump, 40, and five left opens over crest jump, 40, square right, and square right again, and square left into two right. Ivan Stewart, having lost time when his escort clipped the chicane on stage one, is letting sparks fly in a bid to move into the top ten. Double caution to K-right. And to Crest, jump, stay middle, and sudden K-right. Sudden K-right, don't cut. Crest, bump, 40 downhill, break early, turn square right. David McNulty is able to give his escort Cosworth the full application of power, and he takes the final place in the top ten. And three right, two left, pass shed, 40. Maguire's embattled Subaru arrives at the service halt at the Hillgrove Hotel and he explains his difficulties. Niall, conditions seem to be catching a lot of people out there this morning. Yeah, the first stage was, um, wasn't too bad, you know what I mean, it was dryish and we bit damp near the end and the second stage was something similar. No, the second stage was started rain at the start but it wasn't as bad as the third stage was atrocious. Like, there was just absolutely no grip out there at all. Like, you turn the car, like we come down into a square right, square left, and the whole car just left us, and we had to just keep the power on and, and, and throw on the handbrake to try to keep on round on the road, and we, we we got away with it, and we, we stopped, and we got started again. And... 
Michael, weather conditions are very changeable out there this morning. Yes, it's dry, it's wet. Uh, I don't think I've ever driven anything so slippery in all the years of rallying I've been doing, especially at that last stage. It was just absolutely shiny tar, and I think both, I know Niall went off and Yuji went off, and we all went off at the same corner. We're just lucky we just kept going on it. It's just, it's just very slippy. I believe Jim Harrison is off the road and there's a few other people there that are in trouble, um, which we're benefiting from because after two stages, I think we might have been fourth or fifth, you know. So um, we'll just have to try and howl in there and nurse this ageing car of mine along, you know, but we're happy enough. Back to serious business and Niall Maguire tries to improve on his third place, but it's an impossible task as a Subaru is handling erratically and he remains third after the completion of six stages. 28 seconds adrift of second placed Eugene Donnelly. And he's also found it tough to close on leader Michael Barrable. A wrong tyre choice for his flame-spitting Celica didn't help. Barrable controlled proceedings on the second loop. His Subaru performed admirably, and he extracted further time from his rivals to lead by 20 seconds. 600. Slide right cut, 1500. Absolute left over crest, go, 3000, go. Absolute junction and long, fast right going up. Repeat, long, fast right going up. A faulty intercom isn't causing too much inconvenience for David Armstrong, who remains fourth in his escort, which comes under scrutiny from this spectator. Apart from the fourth stage, Adrian McIlvany is happy with his performance as he consolidates fifth place and gets to grips with the Subaru. 40, keep left over crest, 60, right, 60, straight over small crest, OK, 60, small crest into, three left continues and then tightens the fence, tightens here the fence, 100. Times have changed since George Robinson won the national championship in a Toyota Starlet. Talent doesn't diminish and the Balamina man is eighth overall. The car that John Gillies drove to success in 99 national championship has finished seventh in the hands of Sean Gallagher. Alan Nesbeth can feel quite happy with his performance en route to sixth. Adrian McIlvany has annexed another fifth place and added to his points from Mayo. He is now third overall in the Dundalk Championship and is certainly a driver on the move. The first finish for David Armstrong in his escort WRC has yielded his first brace of points in the current championship. Niall Maguire will have to wait at least another year for his fifth home win. The third stage proved to be his downfall. Subaru or Toyota, it scarcely matters. Eugene Donnelly flew through the seventh and eighth stages and duly cut Barable's lead to 11 seconds, but he had to contend with the runner-up spot. At the onset, Michael Barable said whoever won the rally would have earned it, and so he has. His first win of the season, 20 points for a victory, and he now shares the championship lead with Eugene Donnelly. Will Barable end his long quest for national honours? Well, it may be early days yet, but he has started brightly and is going in the right direction for the season to end on a high. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Four left into three right and a crest. Into turn three left. Into sudden four left over small crest. 60 crest. Right side into four left over crest. 80. Five right in tightens. Into five left tightens. Down, four left plus, 100, five right minus, and one right into three right, 45 right over crest, and dip, and three left into a right line, 80, one left max, 80, two right over crest, 80, three left long tightens, and a sudden five right into turn seven left, gravel. 40, four left into crest, 40 down, four right. Slippy down here now, 60, three right plus slippy. 80, over the mud, six left, neat. 
and the crest middle, and the two left of our crest, three right, and a left, yeah. and four right over crest, caution, six right, slippy, neat, and a left, into three left, 60, right over small crest, 200, keep left over small crest, 40, keep right of middle over small crest, 60, bump into one left, and caution, crest bump, and four right over bump, and four right again, and one left, 40, turn six right narrow, don't cut, left, 100, four right, 60, five left, crest into three right, 60, crest and keep right over crest, okay, 60, four left over the bridge, 40 up, turn seven right, 60, middle over crest, okay and middle okay, 500, Right, okay. 120. Two right braking and right side over bridge into turn six left. The Carlo Stages Rally in association with Dargan Tools. County Carlo, a county 28 miles long and 8 miles broad. This charming inland county with its lush green pastures is the location for the third round of the Dunlop National Rally Championship. These aerial views bring us a wealth of scenery, but the drivers and co-drivers, there is little time to savour the breathtaking sights cast in the shadows of the famed Mount Leinster. Club are hosting this, the third round of the Dunlop National Rally Championship. It's a very proud year indeed for the Carlow Club as they're now celebrating 40 years in motorsport. No doubt with their experience and with my little friend here, we shall be bringing you the best of the action. Michael, fresh from your win in Monaghan where you received maximum points and you're now joined second in the championship with Eugene Donnelly. But this weekend there's no Eugene Donnelly or no Niall Maguire. Is the pressure off? No, I don't think the pressure's ever off. Actually, I think the pressure's more on this weekend. When you have the likes of Eugene and Niall Maguire uh, running very competitive with you, it keeps you very much on your on, on your guard. And uh, I'm also great believe there's no such thing as an easy rally. Anybody, again, in the top ten today come in the rally. It only takes a puncture or some problem like that. Uh, but we will try and stay out of trouble and go for maximum points today. We, ha we must admit we have an opportunity to score a lot of points here today, and we're obviously going to try and maximise that. Michael Barrable is first on the road, but it's a time-consuming manoeuvre for the Dublin garage owner. He locks up all four wheels and then selects reverse gear, then first gear, before making his way down the stage that he will finish in third spot. Fast right. An absolute left, 1,500 of the bumps through the kinks. All the way to the top. And at the top, 90, 90 right. About 1,000 at the top. Adrian McIlvanny is blowing up the dust as he picked the wrong compound tyres and it dents his confidence as he had one major moment. Into one right and one left, 100, right middle over crest, 32 right, 40, two left, caution, 40 crest, 4 right minus at the wall, 4 right minus at the wall, minus Adrian, 60 braking. David Armstrong is in superb form and he makes a rapid start to head the timesheets after the opening stage. Sean Gallagher goes on the handbrake a slight bit early but still manages to drift around without losing too much time. Two right over small crest. 40, three right, 40, one right, 100 up middle, one left. 130, two left, don't cut. Local man Noel Redmond slots into second place after this stage. Six seconds behind Armstrong. There's no doubt that he's thinking about victory today. 
Kevin Barrett's car is a little bit twitchy and the Minute driver loses considerable time. Over a minute to the rally leader on this stage. John McArdle is already in a spot of bother as the temperature gauge and the cockpit of his car are heading precautiously into the red zones. Despite this moment of hesitancy, Limerick's Hal Lewis finished the stage in fourth. By his own standards, David McNulty adopted a very cautious approach to the first day's eight stages. Absolute two right, absolute one right, absolute 60, absolute one left, 100, absolute one left, 40, one right, 60, double caution, two left. Michael Barrable is desperate to make up for lost time, and by the second stage, he's up to second spot as we get a bird's eye view of his driving skills. That one out to the bottom. Quick left in deep. Right opens. Flat 2000 to the top. Turn 90 left cut. 90 left cut. Flat 1000. Fast 90 right. Fast 90 right. Wing. 1000 to the bottom. For Adrian McIlvanny, this is the first time that he has driven this car in dry conditions. He dropped a few seconds on stage three when he stalled the car at the start line. 60, two left, into straight over crest, 150, small crest, 60, won't be down here, keep left over crest, bumps, 60, four left long, bit of damp on it, and a left over crest, and a two left past the wall. There is no stopping rally leader David Armstrong, fastest again on stage two, he's already 36 seconds ahead of Michael Barable. John Gallagher has to battle hard in fifth to try and beat the similar car of Han Lewis. 6 right stones inside, travel 6 left tightens, 40, caution, hairpin right, 60, double caution, 1 left over bumps, into kick jump, 40 downhill, 5 right tight. Another driver trying hard is Noel Redmond on his home patch. He's looking for a strong result today, but sadly, it comes to an end on stage two when he parks his Subaru in a rather novel way. And at least the others can get by. Evan Barrett has picked up the pace as he slides through this hairpin, but his car is struggling with engine and transmission problems. To make matters worse, he is held up by David McNulty's car. But Sean McArdle's car has switched on to safe mode because of a fuel problem, and this is hampering his cause. Hal Lewis is also an experienced driver in the forests, proves he's no slouch in tarmac, and continues to hold forth. David McNulty is about to blow the turbo. It causes problems for the drivers behind, and a convey of cars arrive after him at stage finish. Three left, 170. Absolute one right, 80. David Armstrong starts the final stage with a 30-second lead and seemingly heading for victory. Here's Michael Barable. Has he settled for second? But up ahead, the escort WRC of David Armstrong. He's moved over to allow Barable through. 1,000 at the bottom. Turn long, medium left, 600. Fast 90 right opens. An absolute left. 800, absolute left, past the shade, go. 2,000 at the bottom, absolute left at the widening. Go, flat 2,000 at the bottom. McIlvanny is second fastest on the final stage and he has gained valuable experience in the changing conditions.
John Gallagher has really made fourth spot very much his own after moving free of Hal Lewis. 130. Two right Titans over gravel, 150. One right. 250. One right here, 250. In the end, Kevin Barrett, despite being caught behind David McNulty, goes on to win Class A8. And so to the top five, Hal Lewis overcame two off-road excursions to claim a worthy fifth overall. John Gallagher was the top non-world rally car. Fourth place and 14 Dunlop points is his reward. Having led from the start until the final stage, two punctures have cost David Armstrong his first national victory. But that's rallying for you. Second represents the best ever result in a national championship for Adrian McIlvany. He also moves to second in the series. Michael Barrowville is surprised with his final stage win. He may have had his problems on stage one, but it all worked out perfect in the end, and he now takes the outright lead in the series as he heads for the finish ramp celebrations. We sponsored by Three, two, one, go away. Absolute right and absolute crest and very long absolute left going down 290 right. Flat 800. Long easy right tightens a little at cut grass 400. Absolute left over bump 800. Quick left opens the wall cut and absolute crest 600 to the bottom. Absolute left in dip and keep right. Absolute right over crest go 1500 to the bottom to the Kings. Fast 90 right. 400, fast, 90 left, 600, 90 right, an absolute left, 600, fast left, opens, flat 1000 at the bottom, long loose medium right tightens at junction, and fast 90 left, 800, fast left, 600, yeah, 600 to the bottom through the Kings, slight left going, over crest going down 400, quick left at the road on the right, 800, long medium right opens, 1500, slight right 600, easy left 600, turn fast right, 600, quick right opens, an absolute right 1000 going up, absolute crest 1000, slight left and absolute crest, go, an absolute right, go, 800, absolute right on the trees, go 800, Easy right cut here, easy right cut. Flat 1000 at the bottom. Long fast left. 200. Turn hairpin right loose. 1000 to the bottom. Um, absolute right and dip. Go. 1000. Very long absolute left under trees. 800. Absolute right maybe at the muck. 1000. Very, very long absolute left. Go. 1500. Absolute left going down, 2,000 to the bottom. Long absolute right at the lone tree, go. Flat 2,000. Absolute right cut, go, 2,000. Absolute left in dip, 1,500 going up. Absolute left over crest, 1,500 to the top. Easy left maybe after brown fence and opens. 1,500, very long fast right opens. Very long fast right opens. 1000. Absolute right 1500. Turn fast 90 right wide exit. Absolute crest 1500 to the bottom. Easy right maybe. Yeah, 2000 to the bottom. Keep right over absolute crest and long easy left at white wall. 1500. Slight left. Flat 1500. Absolute right over crest, 400, fast right, 200, turn 90 left, narrows, no cut, late turn in. The Cavan Stages Rally, in association with Pace Notes.
Reigning champion Niall Maguire hasn't made a good start to the Dunlop series, but here on the first stage, he's on a strong pace to lie equal second. Michael Barable hasn't made a good start to the rally and will be 16 seconds off the pace at the end of this levy stage, mainly because he picked the wrong tyre compound. An absolute left over crest and right 600. Absolute right and crest 600 to the bottom, slight left at the wall. That's a key push on Michael. And absolute right 600. Absolute crest and left at the wall 800. Absolute right and crest, go 1500, keep her going now. Absolute crest at the junction, go, got 2000 to the top. This is Eugene Donnelly's second rally in just 24 hours. And despite crashing out of the Tour of the Sperrins, he sets fastest time to lead the rally by four seconds. For a small crest, a long one right, flat, 40, flat one left of a bump, 40, flat one left, a flat one right, the flat small crest, bump the bump on top, 80, bad bumps, five right plus, over crest, 60, three left plus, 40, flat one left. David Armstrong, seated at number four, finishes the stage in fourth, but reckons it just didn't click. Overseas driver Jim Harrison is a notable quick starter, and his form puts him equal second with Niall Maguire and four adrift of Eugene Donnelly. Having acquired the ex-Kevin Barrett Subaru WRC, Adrian McIlvany hasn't had any time to test the car. The rear suspension seemed a bit too hard, and a wrong tyre choice didn't help his plight. Very fast section here. 80 left, 200, four right over the bridge, into four left. 40, two right over crest, continues, 100. Running 10th on the road today, and with some good times, Alan Nesbitt. James McCann's tenure was brief, and towards the end of this seven-mile stage, his escort Cosworth has a major accident and then catches fire. Luckily, nobody was injured and the emergency Going services came to the rescue. Into three right, don't cut. Three right, don't cut. Into left, into one right dip. Left, into one right dip, into jump. Oh, jeez. You get out. John McArdle's rally didn't last the full tenure either and would be soon on his way back home to Armagh. David McNulty made it off the reserve lists and was outside the top ten after this stage. Caution, big crash, but jump straight into dip, 100. Turn, square right, 130, up mid. Niall Maguire is third quickest and also third in general classification and pretty content with his efforts so far. Eugene Donnelly is in superb form and dominates this stage to extend his leading margin to 10 seconds. Double caution, six left, cuts and gravel, uh, slight right, and the sixth right, double tightens on the mud, the caution slight right, and the three left plus 60. Three right plus 80, three right plus 130. David Armstrong is still concerned about the road noise. Hopefully it can all be sorted at the service halt. An intermittent anti-lag system is now costing Michael Barable more time. He's 55 seconds off the lead pace, but there is still time to pick up a few places. Flat 2000. Absolute crest, go 2000. Absolute crest and left at Bearfall, go 1500 to the top. Absolute right over big crest, flat 2000. Turn hairpin right, gravel. Repeat, turn hairpin right, gravel. Jim Harrison is certainly not giving up in second place. He wants to exert pressure on Donnelly. Finally, 
as the rain came down, Adrian McIlvany's car was on the correct tires, and he could drive his new car with more confidence. 40. Keep left of middle of our big crest jump into bump 100. Crest jump 40. Caution. Bike left minus slippy. 30. Turn six left. And a three right max. 120. And so after three stages, the leaderboard is like this. Eugene Donnelly is in first place. Jim Harrison, 10 seconds behind in second. Niall Maguire, 20 seconds behind in third. David Armstrong in fourth. Michael Barable in fifth. <laughs> Niall Maguire knows there's little hope of catching Eugene Donnelly, so he has to set his sights on Jim Harrison. On the second loop, he closes to within eight seconds of his rival. It seems nobody can catch the pace of Eugene Donnelly. He continues to dominate the timesheets of all the stages and extends his advantage to 30 seconds. Right, 100, break for big crest and jump, and four right plus the dip, wet maybe, 80. Turns sloppy square left, narrows. The flat crest, the mud and tight four right, 80. Break area for hairpin right on mud. Jim Harrison is aware that he's breaking a little too early at the junctions, and that's where he's dropping time to the rally leader. Michael Barable has sorted his problems and moves up one place to fourth, which would be still enough to keep him in the lead of the Dunlop Championship. All go to the next junction. Very long absolute left follow wires, 1500 to the bottom. Absolute crest go, flat 1500. Absolute crest again go, 1000. Absolute crest at cone go, flat 2000. Adrian McIlvany is picking up the pace, even though his latest acquisition had a misfire on stage four. Over bumps and right over crest into one left over bump and three right up. 60 big crest into left, five left long at the tree. 45 right. 60 right. 80 line. David Armstrong is battling hard to stay ahead of the Monaghan driver and he also has to contend with an exhaust problem. The margin between them is just four seconds. Amazingly, this will be the third time this season that Adrian McIlvany finishes fifth in a round of the national campaign. That's consistency for the young Monaghan ace. Michael Barable collects 14 championship points for fourth, and it's enough to keep him at the head of the Dunlop Championship leaderboard. Niall Maguire finishes third and racks up 16 precious points. He's relieved to get that all-important finish under his belt and a very popular driver with spectators. Jim Harrison made a brave effort to reel in Eugene Donnelly, but he has to be content with second spot, 39 seconds off the top. And so to the victor of this Cavan rally, Eugene Donnelly, a masterful display stage by stage, he led his opponents to a merry dance as he made fastest time after another. He has great memories of his earlier rallying career in Cavan, and this one is one he's unlikely to forget either. His bid for national honours are on course, and he moves to joint second, 14 points off the lead. Pop comes. Crest and three left opens. 130. Four right continues for 80. The flat small crest and bump. 100. Flat crest and bump. 200. Caution big crest and jump. The dip. Shiny one right. The big jump. And caution crest. 
From six left, Shiny, the Chevron. 60, turn square right, don't cut. 150, caution two right narrows to bridge, and four left plus, and to bridge and five left opens over a small crest. 80, six right opens, 40. Flat two left, 60, slight left, the caution let it in, the turn square left plus. 100, flat small crest, 40, caution crest, and slippy three right. 60, caution break early for square left, and turn tight hairpin left. Three hundred. Caution four right, up on the bridge, and four left. And flat two right continues over crest and bump. One thirty. Flat small crest two hundred. Caution crest and four right cuts. Sixty. Flat two right cuts. Continues into dip. A flat crest and jump, 200. Keep two right of the plus over crest and bump, 60. Crest and bump and dip, and three left with care, 60. Keep three right, tightens. The small crest, to two left plus, to two left and dip, slippy, 200. Keep three right over crest, cuts, 80. Stay left of a crest, flat and three right. 100. Keep two left open, so a crest and jump. 80. Caution three right of a crest. And turn square left narrow. The Munster Rally, in association with Crossfelix. Distributed by JG Kelly Supplies. We've now reached the halfway point in the Dunlop National Rally Championship and before round five begins here in Limerick, Michael Barbell holds on to a 15-point lead. However, Derryman Eugene Donnelly is rapidly climbing up the leaderboard and now lies joint second with young hotshot Adrian McIlvany. We also can't rule out Davy Armstrong, who narrowly missed out on a win in Carlo. As you can see, this championship is far from decided. McNulty makes the perfect start. He's fastest through the 13-mile stage, and Julie takes a four-second lead over the opposition. In the heat, Michael Barable found the stage very slippy in places. Nevertheless, he slots into third, some six seconds off the top spot. Absolute left cut at the wires across the road. Go, 2,000. Absolute left over crest, go, 1,000. Long absolute left over crest going down, 1,500. Easy right going down, 800. Easy right over crest, cut, 600. Absolute left and dip going up, 1500. Absolute crest on. It's taken Eugene Donnelly some time to settle. Not his customary quick start, a half spin on just the second junction didn't help either. He's fourth, 10 seconds off the leader. 200. Flat one left. And flat one left, 200. Turn square left. 60. One left, 100. Ollie O'Donovan's car seems very twitchy, and on such a long stage, he loses time. He shares fifth place. One right opens over straight crest. 40, pull away now. 40. Cautious there, one right over beat jump straight. There you go. And stay right, straight crest on four left. 15. Left over crest. Armaz Morris Gas adopts to the West Limerick roads very quickly. In fact, he takes second overall, a mere four seconds off the leading pace. Receiving a call from the reserve list, West Cork driver Lee McCarthy had a problem with tyre selection that prevented a better start. He's outside the top ten after the opening stage. Another West Cork driver, Dennis Cronin, always entertaining and inside the top 10 as he leads the rear wheel drive category with some gusto.
crest into cut medium left and fast right. Sharing ninth with Cronin is Adrian McIlvany. Incorrect tyre pressures and without the gauge to just him, the Monaghan man remarks that his car was all over the road and difficult to handle. 40, 5 right, maybe slippy. 80, small crest into 5 right. 60, 5 left minus. 60. Surprisingly seated down at number 11, this is Davy Armstrong. He finished the stage equal fifth. One of the sensations of Irish rallying is Gary Jennings. He powers his nimble machine down the stages with stunning effects. Two left, continues over barrel, back off, wipe out. Watch this one, unseen four left. Watch it. Titans it. watch it here. Titans it. This is Nigel Hicklin's final outing in this particular car before he moves to a WRC. He makes a solid start and holds a strong top 10 place. Having missed the cabin rally, Sean Gallagher is back in championship action and looking for a major share of the Dunlop championship points. Caution, two right in the jump, jump over bridge, in the open square right, into hairpin left. David McNulty is also trying to embellish his championship position. 80, flat one right and flat one left, 100. Caution, one left over crest and slippy three right. One left over crest, slippy three right, 400. Leader Tim McNulty was a little bit cautious over the second stage and it cost him the lead. Michael Barable has had one or two overshoots but is relatively happy with his performance over the two stages. Up to crest, go to 2000. Up to left over crest, 600 front, tight here, been right. At last three on right. Absolute left, long, go 1500. Up to right of the stones, go 1500. Eugene Donnelly is beginning to sparkle, and he sets the fastest time here, which puts him ahead of the leaderboard by six seconds. One right and two left, and six right plus. 100, two left for bump cuts, to, to two right cuts, 45 right plus. 100, caution three. There's been plenty of drama for Ollie O'Donovan and his co-driver David Moynihan, including a puncture, several overshoots, and a little visit to the scenery. Amazingly, though, they are still fifth. Bad dip on scene. 30, straight over B jump. B jump, 10, left, 15, straight crash, down into left over jump, down 30. The heat is certainly posing some problems for Morris Gas. The tyres are not working properly. Although Sean Gallagher is best of the non-WRC cars, a lack of power is hampering his progress. Nevertheless, he is still having a steady run. Three right into four left. Easy. Four left. 100. Two right, 40. Caution. One right in the five right. After sorting out his tire pressure problems, McCarthy now lies eighth overall. Dennis Cronin and Helen O'Sullivan are setting some superb times in their beautiful BMW. Caution slight left. And long easy left over crest. Into absolute right 40. Adrian McIlvany is about to make his exit. His car lapses on three cylinders. At least he will be able to get back to Monaghan early. Davy 
Armstrong is not happy with the handling of his car. And as we can see from Joey O'Shea's camera, Armstrong loses the back of his car, which results in a big impact. Once again, we see the back of the car slid wide on the loose gravel, but thankfully, everyone is okay. Jennings has changed the settings on his car and he's much happier now with its performance. 100. Flat right. Flat left in. Three right. 130. Fast four left over gravel slippy. With the fast four left over gravel slippy. Nigel Hicklin presses on and survives the unfolding drama on his last outing in this car. And this footage here was caught by our spectator cam, Joey O'Shea. And the positions after special stage four, the timings are very tight. Eugene Donnelly is in first, Tim McNaughty in second, Morris Gass is in third, Michael Barrable in fourth, and Ollie O'Donovan in fifth. on the second loop, Tim McNulty wants to hold on to second as he comes under intense pressure. Nonetheless, he's eight seconds ahead of third placed Michael Barable. Michael Barable, who is desperate to close the deficit, yet in terms of championship points, it's irrelevant as Tim McNulty didn't register. Absolute press of the wires across the road and absolute let go. Last 3,000 to the top. Up here? Yeah. Absolute left over crest 1,000. Easy left at the house. Cut, remember this. 1,500. Long easy right going down 2,000. Absolute left on the trees. Cut. Rally leader Eugene Donnelly is certainly in sparkling form. He continues to punch in fastest times and stretches his lead to 51 seconds. One left to slow crest and bump. 150. Left and middle, 130. Flat one right, 200. One right to two right, cuts. Morris Gas completes the trio, battling for the second place, and he is very much in contention. Now beginning to pick up the pace, Lee McCarthy is setting much quicker times, reflected by his position of sixth overall. Driving beyond the limits to retain fifth is Ollie O'Donovan. He's experiencing problems with the water injection system. Ollie closes in on Morris Gass, who had a big spin early on in the stage. 15, two left over gravel, 25, two right opens, 20, flat one right, 20, tie four right, tie four right. Gary Jennings is having a problem with gear selection as he pushes the nimble car through the lanes of Monster. And to left, 80. Flat left at the tree, 100. 60, tree right at the gate. Repeat, tree right at the gate, 60. Flat right at the fence. A change of turbo seems to have had the desired effect. Sean Gallagher has climbed two places on the leaderboard. The turn four left very fast. 40 turn four right, 100. 100. One left and... Dennis Cronin still has his pristine car in eighth place and thrilling the spectators. On the final stage, Tim McNaughty ends up with the fastest time, but will it be enough for second place? Michael Barable is committing himself more, and he's on course for second and valuable championship points. Fast left maybe at goal, 1500. Fast left over Crested House Court, flat 4000 at the top. Absolute crest of the trees on right, flat 3000, go. Eugene Donnelly has just to finish this stage and take another victory and embellish his quest for national championship victory.
Caution to right, it's up on the bridge, and open square right. And tight left and left, 130. Three left plus, 80. Four right. The cable device in the handbrake mechanism has snapped, and Morris Gas has lost reverse gear also. But as we see again from Joe O'Shea's camera, he's very lucky to get away with this one. Ollie O'Donovan is still showing total commitment, and he's the best of the non-WRC machinery. Flat left 30, long one right, stay out. 15, long flat one right. Long flat one right. 15 into one left. 15 into long one right. Right. Lee McCarthy has fixed the anti-roll bar and it's made a big difference to the handling of his car. Dennis Cronin continues to sling the car about and he will finish the rally in seventh place and the best of the rear wheel drive contingent. Last year's winner Tim McNaughty finishes third. He was a little off the pace on the penultimate stage. Michael Barable is satisfied with his haul of 18 championship points and retains the lead of the championship. But there's no stopping Eugene Donnelly. He takes his third win of the campaign, surviving this little moment, and he shows he's very much the driver in form. And the leaderboard after round five, Michael Barable has a convincing lead with 90 points. Eugene Donnelly in second with 78, Adrian McIlvany in third with 58, Sean Gallagher in fourth with 51, and David Armstrong in fifth with 42 points. Four, two, one, go. Party absolute right over crest. Into long, easy right. Into absolute right 40. Fast left and medium right. And cut fast left. Into cut easy left. And slight right. Into slight right over crest. Into cut and cut fast left. And crest. Cut long, fast, right, 40. Cut easy left, 60. Right over crest and slight right. And press go on, 60. Press into, into absolute left, maybe. And press go on, 40. Absolute left, go on. Into absolute right, 100, go on. Absolute right, into absolute right, go on, 60. Crest, go on, 40. Crest and pole, cut easy right, 100. Turn K left, 40. Into long crest. Into crest and turn K right gravel. 40. Absolute left. Into dip and jump. Into long slight right. Into crest. Into cut medium left. Fast right. Into crest and absolute right. And absolute left 61. Slight left into absolute right 60. Hot and slight left. And long easy left over crest. Into absolute right 40. Absolute left into caution. Absolute right. Into cut easy left over crest. Into crest. And absolute right 40. Easy left 
country and easy right. The Ravens Rock Rally, in association with Sureway Forklifts. The medieval city of Kilkenny, internationally acclaimed as a centre for craft and design, hosted the Ravens Rock Rally round six of the Dunlop National Rally Championship. Famed for its magnificent historical buildings and atmospheric streets, Kilkenny provides a fabulous backdrop for this national championship event. Eugene Donnelly is quickly into the groove and although he felt that the tyre compound was a trifle too soft in the hot conditions, from second on the opening stage, he set fastest time on stage two to lead by three seconds. 60. Oh, One right, 250 on bumps. And brake for a three right. And flat two left, opens for a small crest and jump, 200. Third after stage one, Michael Barrowell picked up a puncture on stage two, his first in over a year and a half. He drops to fourth, a little deflated, and 37 seconds off the top spot. Absolute left and right through the junction, 1500. Absolute right at the sign, 1500. Turn fast, medium left, late turn in, you know this one now. That 1000 to the bottom. Light right opens, 1,000. Jim Harrison always makes a strong start and this time is no exception. He led after stage one and is only three seconds behind Donnelly. <laughs> Having retired early from the last round, Adrian McIlvany is now getting to grips with the ex-Kevin Barrett car and is beginning to find the limits of the car. However, he needs to be careful. He did have one major moment on stage two. Crest continues, 62 right, 60, very big jump, 60, Crest jump, 120 over bumps, right over Crest, into left, 80. Wexford's Noel Redmond made a hasty exit on the Carlo rally and he loses time here with a slipping clutch. Don't cut over crest 130. And two right, two left into one right. One right, three left, don't cut. And four left, four left. John Gallagher got the call from the reserves and with Paul Nagel on the notes, he slots into sixth place. Bump over junction, one right, and the one right continues. Keep it on. For 80, 100, turn six left. Go on, keep going. Six left. 80. Three right. Three right. Local driver Ray Breen makes a welcome return to rallying, driving the ex John Mercer Metro 6 or 4. Another returning is Patrick Elliott. This is his first rally since his accident in the Monaghan Rally. Contesting the Get Connected Championship, Cahill Arthurs endures brake problems on this opening stage. David McNulty makes a cautious start and is outside the top ten. Get Connected sponsor Damien Cole debuts the ex Paddy Yurston car and he's reseated from his original position. He's had a big overshoot and he's also sheared the bolts on the sump guard. Flat right, 300. Go on, boy, keep it on. Flat right, 300. Right one, 50, right one, 120. Even though he remarked he should have fitted new tyres for stage five, Eugene Donnelly maintained his dominant position. Indeed, he's one of the three drivers to beat the bogey for this stage. right cuts, the three left plus, 100. Flat one right continues for 150. The small jump at the white pillars, OK, 40. Caution one left, bump and up, 40 break, five right. Michael Barrable has moved up another place. He's now into second, despite collecting an unfortunate Absolute pigeon in the, the air vents. Absolute crest, 3,000. Absolute crest, 2,000. Absolute right in dip, 2,000. Turn 90 right. All right, I should turn 90 right. The fuck did all the feathers come from? And it's all flat to the next junction now, all right? Never mind the feathers, all right? Fuck the feathers. 
A few miles from the end of the stage, Jim Harrison's Subaru started to sputter, as though it was running out of petrol. Adrian McIlvany joins Donnelly and Barable to beat the bogey. He's really pushing the new car and exploiting its limits. 60. Okay, have long here. 60 left. 100. One right over crest. 60. Three right. And four right. Four right here. 80. Well, the nature of the stage didn't suit Sean Gallagher. Nevertheless, he remains a solid fifth. The kick over jump here, no kick over jump. Next one, kick over jump here. Right, that's it. Right, keep it going. Now it's okay. 60 jump, 140 over bump dip, 40 crest, flat here, 150. It's okay. One right, 60 crest, the turn here, but right. The Metro 6R4 of Ray Breen is now performing much better as the service crew stiffened the suspension. The clutch problems have knocked Noel Redmond out of his stride, and he's well down the order. Hairpin right, 170 up middle. Crest and bump, one right, 100. There's no letting up for Donnelly as he closes in on another victory. Forty. Flat three right. Forty three right cuts. The flat two left. Sixty. Long three right plus cuts. The two left stay in. Forty. Flat one right continues. Forty flat one right. 100. Barable may not be able to catch the leader, but Dunlop points are all important. Still crest of the trees, go 1500. Absolute jump going down between the trees, 1000 at the bottom. Fast left in, deep opens, fast left opens, and absolute left over crest, 800. Dunk slide right over crest, 4000. It's great to see Jim Harrison having a consistent run, and while he may not win the 2003 Dunlop Championship, he could well play a part in deciding its destiny. Sensibly holding position, Adrian McIlvany is another driver looking for a major share of championship points. Left Max in over crest of the wall, OK, 100. One right, 60. Right, 200. One left. 60, turn two left, max over crest, 100, two left, max over crest, 100, one right. John Gallagher can feel well satisfied among the more powerful cars. Three right fast, 60. Care okay, right over crest, 40, five left, five left. Into three left. Two right, 40, one left, into one right, 100, four right. On the closing stages, Noel Redmond did manage to get back onto a reasonable pace, but he finished well down the leaderboard after clutch problems. And three right, 40 up middle, long two right, tightens into five left, tightens into five left, 60. Long one right, into one left, Bump into four right, opens and tightens into two left. And so to the top five, Sean Gallagher gave a commendable performance and netted a fine fifth. Another strong finish for Adrian McIlvany, ably assisted by co-driver Paul Goodman. The time lost on stages three and six proved insurmountable for Jim Harrison. Second place is still enough for Michael Barable to retain the lead of the Dunlop Championship. Victory number four for Eugene Donnelly and co-driver Paddy Toner. A 35-second winning margin illustrated their superiority. Donnelly has now cut Barable's lead to 10 points, with four rounds still remaining. Take <laughs>
five, four, three, two, one, go. 200. Three right, 300. Turn, five right fast. Don't cut. 300. Crest, and right in three, chicane. And turn, square left. In around, square left. Three left, 60. Three right, 40. One left, 100. One right, don't cut, 130. Three right, fast, 60. Care, right over crest, 40, five left, five left. Into three left, two right, 40. One left, into one right, 100. Four right, four right, 60. Keep it going, one left, 40. One right, 40. One left, into four right, long, deceptive. Four right, long, deceptive. All the way around. Into two right, into five left, 60. One left, long, and one right, 40. Six right, fast the gate, 40. One right, one left, 40. Bump dip and three left, 60. Two right, stay in, 150. Keep it going, keep it going. One left and two left, three right. Put up three right, 60. One right into three right long. And one left into two right, one left, don't cut, 60. One left, 40. One left, 60. Six left, gravel. Six left gravel here. 60. Easy. One left, open square right. Square right. 100. Two right, 40. Two left, 200. Care, three right, five left. Three right, five left. In association with Triton Showers and Accessories. Celebrating their 30th anniversary, Tipperary Motor Club are host to the seventh round of the Dunlop National Rally Championship. Now, at this stage in the series, it does look like it's a two-way battle between Derryman Eugene Donnelly and Michael Barbell. However, as we all know, anything can happen in rallying. And with Adrian McIlvanny lying in third place, he will be sure to be there to pick up the pieces should anything happen to front runners. It's almost four months since defending champion Niall Maguire competed in a rally. Not surprisingly, he's a little rusty and finished the stage in sixth place. Michael Barable, who won here last year, has lost vital seconds on the stage due to an overshoot, a sign that the Dubliner may be trying too hard. Through the dip, keep going. Up to crest, 800, and long up to right at the head. Go, 1500. Up to right, upper crest, keep going, 3000 to the top, to the king. Fast step here in front of you, fast step. 600. Very long, up to right, go, 1000. Eugene Donnelly finished the stage four seconds ahead of his championship rival, and he knows that's just what is required today. The flat crest, 40, two right, and the brake crest and sudden square left. 80, and gravel, 80. The flat one right, and the flat one left, 60. Flat one right, 100. Three right plus, and the four left cuts. Matter Hurston, a national rally champion in 92, makes a superb start and actually sets fastest time to take a seven second lead. However, it's short lived as he crashes on special stage two. Monaghan's Adrian McIlvany is aiming to finish in the top three in the Dunlop Championship. He lost time at the start when the safety belts were a little loose. 80 right, 40. One left, okay, over 40, into blip, 70, very narrow, six right, gravel, double caution, sudden six left, minus. 
Sean Gallagher with Sean Mariarty calling the notes finishes the opening stage in ninth place. British driver Jim Harrison makes a relatively cautious start and slots the McKinstry hired Subaru into fourth. JJ Fleming in the ex Derek McGarrity Circuit of Ireland winning car is eighth after this stage. Morris Gass is on a shakedown for the Ulster Rally. He's fifth fastest on this stage, 24 seconds behind the rally leader. Patrick Elliott reckoned he should have set a quicker time. He's 10th, but only eight seconds off the fifth place. One driver that is consistently amongst the points is David Magnolti. He makes a cautious start and is just outside the top 10. Ray Brain in his all-powerful Metro 6R4, and its flapping bonnet is another to make a careful start. Out in his new car, Kevin Barris takes time to acclimatize to his Triton Shower Subaru. One driver in trouble at this early stage is Noel Redmond, who drops time with a broken drive shaft. Local Tipperary driver Trevor Harding in the ex Frankie Maher Escort Cosworth is destined to keep the local fans happy. With his rivals in constant competition, Niall McGuire knows he has it all to do. He's fourth after just two stages. Michael Barrable reckons that his car isn't getting the traction he would like and he thinks it could be the dusty roads that's causing the problem. With the demise of Paddy Hurston, Eugene Donnelly takes the lead and even breaks the bogey time for this special stage. Calvani is increasing his pace with every rally, and of course he's intent on claiming third overall in this his first full season. But it doesn't go his way today, as we see from the onboard. 60 left and straight jump. 86 right at the gate. Repeat six right at the gate. Here. Run through the gate, through the gate, through the gate. Harrison was the first driver to reach the scene of Hurston's accident, and he's slow to ensure that Patter and co-driver Ian Porter were all right. Sean Gallagher had a hard fight to keep his car into the top ten, but he still has plenty of time to achieve it. Although the rally leader at this stage is almost a minute away, Morris Gass has his sights on Niall Maguire, who is much closer, just four seconds ahead. Patrick Elliott and regular co-driver Martin Cowell continue their steady pace. The retirement rate is increasing and sadly JJ Fleming is about to join Adrian McAvaney and Peter Hurston on the list. Kevin Barrett is keen to get the miles on his new car and is relatively happy with his performance over the stages. Ray Breen is matching some of the WRCs. He's neatly tucked into sixth overall. David McNulty having a steady drive to keep him in seventh place. Absolute 
300, don't miss. Two right, 40, absolute. Making it inside the top 10, Trevor Harding is having intercom problems, but it doesn't show from this type of driving. The pace is quick, and Niall Maguire knows his four-month layoff is costing him time on the stages, where he's now fifth overall. Michael Barable has an overshoot at a junction and loses precious seconds. However, he's still intent on giving it everything. Ball go now. Very long absolute left under three. Go to his very long absolute left again, and absolute left in the dip continues. 3,000 to the top. Absolute left, back to house over the crest. Absolute left to big three, 1,000. Having driven his heart out, Eugene Donnelly will beat the bogey time on this stage, and that annoys the Derry driver, who leads by 13 seconds. Flat left, one left, at the bump, 80. Long three right, and the flat two right. Over bump and the flat one left, 150. Double caution, slight right on turn four left. Jim Harrison has lost touch with the top two with a fuel problem. It's bitterly disappointing for the Macclesfield driver. With Harrison experiencing trouble, he's slipping into the clutches of the ever hard charging Morris Gas. John Gallagher reckons the very fast stages are not suiting his escort, Cosworth. Nevertheless, he's on course for a top 10 finish, although he has a clutch problem. Keen to get a finish under his belt, Patrick Elliott stays in seventh. Among all the modern WRC machinery, Ray Breen holds sixth in his pristine Metro 6R4. Kevin Barrett is gradually picking up the pace and will slot into ninth place overall. David McNulty is running a little late on the road, but he still holds a top 15th place. Harding appears to be the entertainer of the rally. He keeps the local fans happy, and were it not for the addition of a two-minute penalty, he would have been 10th instead of 16th. But this man shows how a Ford Cosworth should be driven. Let's take a look. attempt to snatch fourth, but it didn't go his way, and he has to settle for fifth. Coming to terms with the pace of the front runners, Niall Maguire secured that fourth place. A case of what might have been, were it not for that fuel problem, a solid third for Jim Harrison. Michael Barable retains the lead of the Dunlop Championship, and at this stage of the campaign, points are vital. Victory number four of the Dunlop campaign, Eugene Donnelly has cut the points deficit to eight points in his relentless pursuit of championship success. With three rounds remaining, can he reel in the leader, Barable, and clinch his first national rally championship title? For now, though, he takes the maximum points from his trip to tip. Right, and absolute left, going cut, 1,000 to the bottom. Turn slight left, 1,000. 
Abdul right go, 1000. Abdul right over crest and long Abdul left going down past the house go, 1500. Abdul right, 2000 to the bottom to the king. Fast medium right. And fast medium left opens. And Abdul crest, 1000. Abdul right go, 1000. Abdul right again, 800. Abdul left. 600, fast left going up, and long absolute right going up, and absolute crest go 800 to the top, easy right, 400, medium left of the wall, and absolute right go, and absolute crest of the wall, 1000, absolute crest and right 800 turn, fast 90 left, 50, 1500, absolute right and long absolute left under trees, go 2000. Absolute right go, 1500 to the top. Slight right at the pole, 600. Absolute left and absolute press, 1000 to the bottom. Long pass left in tip. Flat 1000 going off, very long, easy right, tight in second half. Tight in second half. And absolute press, 1000. Absolute right at the sign, go, 1000. Absolute left in dip, go, 2000. Through the dip, keep going. Absolute press, 800. And long absolute right at the head, go, 1500. Up to the right, over press, keep going, 3,000 to the top, to the king. Fast left here in front of you, fast left, 600. Very long, up to the right, go, 1,000. Up to the left, over crest, 1,000, turn 90 right, round bail. And fast, 90 left. 1,000, up to the left, go, 4,000. Easy right going up, maybe, 1,000. Absolute left and crest 1000, quick right, the big quick right, 600. Absolute left to the white wall and absolute crest 600, quick right again. Flat 1000 to the bottom, all go. Absolute right 2000. Absolute left at green grass and absolute right, go and absolute left and absolute left, keep going 3000 to the bottom. Absolute left in dip going down to 1500. Very long absolute left, maybe tightens second half a little, 1000. Absolute left over crest 1000, turn 90 right. Long absolute left score, 1500. Top to the Kings. In association with Truck Dismantlers Ireland, specialists in second hand Scania parts. Hello and welcome once again to On The Limit Sports. Well, with only three rounds remaining in the Dunlop National Rally Championship, round eight here in Pertumna, Galway, is going to be an extremely important scoring platform for drivers both up and down the field. The battle between Eugene Donnelly and Michael Barbell is also continuing and both those drivers will be striving for a win here today in Galway. Eugene, you're winner of the last four rounds. Are you going to be able to do it again here in Galway? That'll be a tall order. Um, uh, we just have the same approach as we've had every other event. Um, go out there and you know, get ourselves settled in and just do our best. Um, like my, Michael is definitely going to be on the charge as he has been all year. Um, and he's slowly getting more and more pressure on me every rally. So, um, oh, pressure's on, it definitely is. Michael, you have won this rally before, but Eugene Donnelly has just pipped you to the post in the last four rounds. Will you be able to do it today? Well, definitely he's been very much a thorn on our side for the last few events. When he's been winning, then we've been finishing a close second to him. Today it will be a difficult day. He's definitely the man on form at the moment. Uh, as I say, the championship is reaching a very exciting and, and, and uh, the final few rounds are just coming upon us now. And the championship is very close. We'd only take a non-finish or a, even a puncture, I'd say, at this stage between Eugene and myself to decide in the other person's favour. But we were going out in a positive frame today, a um, positive frame of mind to go out and win this rally. There's no doubt this is a key event for Dunlop Championship leader Michael Barable. He knows he has to finish ahead of Eugene Donnelly. It's attack from the start. Let's see how he's coping from inside the cockpit of the car with co-driver Dermot O'Gorman calling the notes. But with this big crash on stage one, Barable's chances of championship success are now severely dented and he must watch the competition pass him by. Eugene Donnelly is not a driver to shriek a challenge, and he's certainly not playing the percentage game. As if to illustrate this, he has two major moments on the stage where he finishes 13 seconds off the leader and passes the stricken barrel. 
Cheers, Alf. Square right and gravel. And flat two right. Adrian McIlvaney may take a little time to settle after his accident in Tipperary. He ends up sixth overall after the conclusion of the opening stage. British driver Jim Harrison is exceptionally quick and the Macclesfield man is actually the barometer of the pace today. He leads Donnelly and the rally by 13 seconds. Defending Dunlop champion Niall Maguire is beginning to show a return to the type of form he showed in winning last season's Dunlop series. He's equal third on the stage. Back after his major accident on the circuit of Munster, David Armstrong is somewhat surprised at his pace. He shares third with Maguire. So does Patrick Elliott, the Monaghan building contractor, is keen to get some points in this series. Galway's JJ Fleming has to acclimatise to the S8 Subaru, and there is no room for heroics as he's ninth on the early leaderboard. 41 right of bumps. One right of bumps. 200 bumpy. Big bump. Big bump. Here it is. Big bump. 300 bumpy. Here it is now. 300 bumpy. Two left, caution, and narrow three right tightens. In contention for the rear-wheel drive category, Dennis Cronin makes a slow start, but he has plenty of time to improve his performance. Like JJ Fleming, John Spain is another of the local drivers bidding to make an impression. He starts on a positive note and is seventh overall. Still getting acclimatised to his new car, Kevin Barrett makes a cautious start and is just outside the top ten frame, but he has to contend with the vibration. Traversing the stage without the benefit of an anti-lag system is exactly what Sean Gallagher has to do. Remarkably, he's 10th on the leaderboard. Square left, don't push, repeat, square left, don't push, into five right over crest opens. Into four left, tightens, into five left. Repeat, four left, tightens, into five left. Into six right, don't push. One of his class rivals is Jay Jordan, who is five seconds quicker than Sean Gallagher. Right six, into small crest 60. Turn her pin left over bad gravel, 40. Left four, 60. Also in the escort Cosworth Brigade is Dan Mulcahy. He drops over 30 seconds to Jordan. Concentration remains the key for Eugene Donnelly, even though Michael Barrable is out of the equation today, the dairy driver must press on, and he does just that. Caution, one left over a small crest, and turn square left. And turn square left, 300. Break for narrow square right. Sometimes it's difficult to get into the groove after an accident. Tipperary may be still fresh in the mind of Adrian McIlvaney, who will want to secure a good finish. Rally leader Jim Harrison extends his lead to 12 seconds. He is one second ahead of Donnelly on the stage where there is little room for error. The stages are very quick, and Niall Maguire is not far off the pace set by the top two, as he makes third place his sole occupation. Getting close to his usual pace, David Armstrong pushes on. Patrick Elliott knows he has a battle with Adrian McIlvaney and loses two seconds to his country neighbour. JJ Fleming moves up one place to eighth after this second stage. Fast two left here, 150. Turn easy square right. Turn easy square right here. Easy square right. 100. Absolute left, 300. Fast three right opens. Repeat fast, three right opens, 400. Appearing in the top 10 for the first time today is the broadsiding BMW of Dennis Cronin and Helen O'Sullivan. The service halt is now Kevin Barrett's priority as he has to sort the vibration that is thwarting his efforts. John Spain is on a charge and leads the Galway contingent and holds a respectable top six place. Another with work to do at the service halt is Sean Gallagher, as he struggled without the anti-lag. 60. Press stay in the middle. Easy. Three left over bump. 60. Five right at lane. Repeat. Five right. 40 over crest and six left. 40. Five right. 
Jay Jordan's car leads his rivals, but it's early days yet. The pit left two very tight. Eighty. Herpin left tightens right five. One fifty. Right five. Forty small crest and right four. Dan Mulcahy bids to stay close to Jordan, but is over a minute adrift after a few mechanical problems. And the leaders after stage three in Galway, John Spain in fifth, Adrian McIlvany is in fourth, Patrick Elliott is in third, Niall Maguire in second, and Eugene Donnelly and Paddy Toner in first. Out on the second loop of stages, Eugene Donnelly maintained his composure and led by 40 seconds. Keeping his concentration 60. is now the key. Caution, turn square left on gravel. Turn square left on gravel, 40. Four left opens and tightens, 100. And tightens. The crest and bump along long four right cuts. Even though he found the fourth stage very slippy, Adrian McIlvany has made up ground and has reeled in Patrick Elliott for the third place. Nine seconds separate the pair. Making up time and climbing back up the order, Jim Harrison is sixth, even though he had an overshoot on stage four. With the fastest time on stage four, Niall Maguire is having a trouble-free run in second place. A glitch in the car's electronics is posing a problem for Patrick Elliott, but he's only those nine seconds off Adrian McIlvany and third place. This car, being driven by JJ Fleming, is the ex Derek McGarrity Circuit of Ireland winning car, but JJ admits he's far too rusty two to right pull it to the into test. Fast three left, into fast, fast two right here, into fast three left, 150 over small crest. Double caution, square left, watch the narrow bridge here now. Double caution, square left, and double caution, narrow bridge, square right. Narrow bridge, square right, it is very narrow. And easy five right, easy five right. Dennis Cronin enjoyed a half spin on the sixth stage, but he retains the lead of the rear wheel drive category and ninth in general classification. Crashing into a wall on the slippery fourth stage, John Spain has rearranged the front of his Toyota Celica. Amazingly, he holds on to fifth place. On the fringes of the top 10, Kevin Barrett is gaining confidence with his Subaru WRC. In spite of all his difficulties, Sean Gallagher is maintaining his position in the top 10. His car is now without the anti-roll bar. Dunlop Championship points are of the utmost importance to Eugene Donnelly, who appears to be on his way to a sixth victory of the campaign. And the two right Titans and the four right. And three left plus, and five right. And five right, and flat two left, to stay left, the long three left, and flat three right. Adrian McIlvany setting fastest times on stages seven and eight. Jim Harrison continues to claw back places. Niall Maguire has no anti-lag, but the second place looks relatively secure. The prize for the biggest jump goes to JJ Fleming. Let's see that again now from the onboard. JJ goes on to finish eighth overall and will have a great benefit from today's outing. It looks like the chase for third will go right to the last stage. Patrick Elliott is closed on Adrian McIlvany, and the difference between them is only one second. After picking up the pace, Dennis Cronin eventually finishes seventh overall, and the customary top spot in the rear-wheel drive category. That earlier crash didn't prevent John Spain from taking sixth place, and of course the top Galway competitor. Guiding his car through the closing stages, Kevin Barrett just misses out on a top 10 finish. Ninth place and some valuable championship points is the net result for Sean Gallagher. He has to contend with a smoke-filled cockpit when a rubber flap caught fire. For Jim Harrison, it could have been so different were it not for that puncture, but fastest man over the last three stages gives him fifth place. Patrick Elliott has to settle for fourth place. 
Adrian McIlvany was impressive on the last stage to secure a third overall. Defending Dunlop champion Niall Maguire takes the runner-up spot over a minute adrift of the winner. And for the sixth time in seven outings, that's Eugene Donnelly. This time the victory puts him at the top of the Dunlop Championship table. And the first title is certainly getting very close for the Derry Ace. Eugene, did you find the pressure taken off you when Michael went out on stage one this morning? Ah, uh, definitely. Uh, there was a lot of pressure lifted now when we seen him off. Um, I think it's unfortunate, you know, because we were we were having a great battle all year. Like he pushed me hard, and um, no, nah, definitely pressure was off a bit now. And so the point standing for the Dunlop Rally Championship: Eugene Donnelly, a commanding lead of 138; Michael Barbell in second with 126 points; Adrian McIlvany and Sean Gallagher tied in third for 88 points. And Jim Harrison has 79 points. Three, two, three, 200. Caution, big crest and jump. 170. Small crest and the four left opens. 150. Caution, bump in the bridge and open square right. 100. Six left, 60, six right plus, don't cut, and long three left, tightens, the flat one right, tightens, the flat one right, 170, flat crest and jump, 100, flat one right, 60, flat crest, 60, flat one left, and the crest, 150, flat crest, and the two left, continues to four right, cut. 200, flat one right, 130, crest and jump, 80, jump, 170, break before crest and four left plus, 100, break for very big jump in the bridge, 100, turn open square left, plus, 400. Caution, one left over small crest and turn square left. And turn square left. 300. Break for narrow square right. 40. Six left plus, don't cut. And long flat one right. Break for tight square left. 100. Long three right plus into tight four left. 100. Tight four left. 100. Three left and four right tightens. 60. Tight six left. And four right plus. And the flat two right. Into two right and four left plus 150. Break before crest at big three for square left and a dip and square right. Very narrow bridge. And five right plus and flat two right 100. Break for small crest onto two right and five left. In association with Biotech. Ireland's leading manufacturer and suppliers of sewage treatment systems. Hello and welcome to Ennis County Clare for the penultimate round of the National Rally Championship. Now at this stage in the championship, many of the classes have been decided upon. However, for others, the last two rallies of the season will be vital for competitors to score those extra few points in order to secure their class win. Eugene, congratulations, you've won the Northern Ireland Championship. Are you going to be able to confirm the double here today in Clare? Don't know, I'm going to try my best anyway. Um, feel good, feel real good. Um, the weather's starting to dry out a wee bit, um, which will help the stages. And uh, I just have to wait and see what happens. Michael, you had an unfortunate off in Galway. Can you tell us what happened? Galway, just one of those things, you just have to put it down to the that sport we're in and the speed we're going at and uh, the stages. It was just one, something that happened at the end of a long straight. We hit the brakes, the car got a mind of its own and we're just putting that down to history now. 
Yeah. Adrian, at the moment you're lying joint third in the championship. Are you going to change that today? Hopefully not, because we can't catch second and we can't catch first. So if we change it, that will mean we're in fourth. So hopefully we'll try and hold on to third. Jim, we would normally see you driving the P2000. Today you're in a different standard of a car. Uh, yeah, we're in a Subaru S8 um, today, which is, um, I guess, one stage up from the P1000. Have you had a chance to test drive the car? Uh, only yesterday, very briefly, um, and it wasn't really what you call a test. So, uh, so how confident are you with the car? Um, yeah, I mean, it feels really, really nice. Um, I mean, it's just got to be a learning exercise today, really. It's, you know, start from scratch, and uh, find, I've got to find out where the gears are as well, which, you know, is difficult for me, as you know. The ground Without a win this season, Niall Maguire makes a relatively good start and slots into third, 12 seconds off the lead. In contrast, this has been a spectacular season for Eugene Donnelly. He doesn't have to win today to wrap up the Dunlop Championship. He makes a good start and is only a second off the pace. And flat one left, and flat crest, 60. Flat small crest, a bump the lane, and a small jump, and flat one right, 130. The national title might be out of Michael Barable's own destiny. He finds the roads particularly greasy, which doesn't help his cause. Very long, absolute left ball of wires go. Fourth out to the bottom, no bumps. Fast, medium left at the end of it. Fast, medium left. And absolute right. Jim Harrison's first stage in the S8 car is a good one. Even though he reckoned his drive wasn't completely to his liking, he actually set the fastest time, one second ahead of Donnelly. Slight right, oh yeah. 30, fast right plus, 30, fast left plus, 30, fast right left, 50, fast right long. Adrian McIlvany's aim is to claim third overall in the Dunlop series. The Monaghan driver thought the tyres had lost some of their grip, and he lost a few seconds. He's fifth overall. 130 up the middle. Flip, press, jump into five left, short over bump. And three right. 40 over bump, one right, and danger, six left over bump. A lack of power sees Patrick Elliott lose time to his rivals as he slots into sixth on the early leaderboard. Debuting the McKinstry hired P2000, Ollie O'Donovan ups for a cautious start and he's just outside the top ten. Right into big jump, into one right and two left opens. Stay right, danger. Ten, stay one right of a big jump, tightens two. First of the non WRC cars, Dennis Cronin is always entertaining and very competitive. David McNulty makes his usual consistent start and knows there is plenty of time to increase his pace. One right, 60. Careful, three right, stay in. 40. Repeat, three right, stay in. Absolute one left, 130. It's not a good season for Niall Maguire as he bows out rather spectacularly on this stage as our cameraman gets a glimpse of the crash. Let's see that again from the onboard. Huh? Was she on our roof? No, she wasn't. It went up quite high, though. Hello, hang on. Right. Oh. We had a good run on the first stage. I think we're third fastest on the first stage, and this stage here we're having no problems at all. And it's just that, um, be truthful to you, we had, there was a bump down there we hadn't marked in. Like we came down here yesterday morning, we done the recce, and we left here just after dinner time yesterday. We came down this morning. I just had there was a bump I hadn't marked in. Go. One hundred. Tight five left opens. One hundred. Five right plus, don't cut, and flat three left, don't cut, 80, flat one right, 200. The stages are greasy and Eugene Donnelly has survived a slight excursion and managed to maintain second. 
Rally leader Jim Harrison sets the fastest time on the third stage and leads Eugene Donnelly by six seconds. And stay right, fast left plus, and max right 50. Fast left, continue slower, and cut fast right plus into deceptive. Stay right of a junction, fast left 70, max bump and fast right. Michael Barable needs to finish ahead of Donnelly. Right now, he has a lot to do. He's 24 seconds adrift of his Dunlop Championship rival. It's down to confidence as he tries to regain form after his Galway accident. Score 3,000. Absolute crest and very long absolute right. 6,000 to the junction. And at the junction, turn fast, 90 right. Suspension difficulties are posing problems for Adriel McIlvany. He had several anxious moments on stage three and is now in fifth place, but he almost loses it here on this stage. 100. One right. 80. Left over crest jump. 60. Water. One left. And one right over bump. Patrick Elliott, who had an accident earlier in the season, is improving with every rally. He's currently fourth overall. One right flat, and 300 up to a Maguire went. Just watch a bump, somebody watch this jump here now. Right, there's, there's a bad jump there, there's where he went. Down to a torn hairpin left at the top of the hill. Frank Bales, maybe. Maintaining a cautious approach, Ollie O'Donovan is in no hurry to test. The P2000 to the full. And caution, very tight longs. Three left tight, four for Slippy. 15, tight, five right, opens over Slippy. Five right, yeah, opens over Slippy. Seventh place is Dennis Cronin's reward after the first loop of stages. As expected, he leads the rear wheel drive category. David McNulty is trouble-free and keen to rack up some Dunlop Championship points. In overall terms, he's 22nd. At the bottom, two right tight, 100. One right, 40. Caution, four left and turn five left, slippy maybe. And the top five after stage three. In fifth place, Adrian McIlvany, 51 seconds behind the leader. In fourth is Patrick Elliott. In third is Michael Barable. In second is Eugene Donnelly, six seconds behind the first place man, Jim Harrison. For Eugene Donnelly, it's a case of finding a pace that will deliver his ultimate prize, the Dunlop National Rally Championship. He posted fastest time on stage six and remains on course for championship success. Flat one left, slippy, 130, crest and bumpy long one left, 40. Jim Harrison is adapting to his new car like the proverbial duck to water. He's even extended his lead to 11 seconds. Michael Barrable's confidence is returning, but he needs to be closer to Eugene Donnelly. The margin now stands at 47 seconds. Absolute crest at the Bush Road, 2000. Break early, fast, medium right, slippy. Adrian McIlvany may be watching third in the Dunlop series, but he has to press on. A few adjustments to the suspension seems to have had a positive effect. Caution, two left, in two, jump OK, 60 past the sign, two right in, in two, two left, in minus, and breaking, three left, three left here, and the six right long tightens. Patrick Elliott has joined McIlvany in equal fourth, and the cabin man wants to oust his Monaghan neighbour from that position. Ollie O'Donovan is still outside the top ten, but he's admitted that he's only driving about seven tenths. Straight over long crest and flat left. 30 over dip right and jump. Hit the flying finish. And stay left over crest. 40 to stop. 
It's a perfect place for the BMW M3 of Dennis Cronin. He's sixth and under no real pressure to head the rear-wheel drive group. David McNulty has moved up seven places to 15th and will eventually finish 11th. Patrick Elliott brings his car home in fifth place. He was fifth entering the ninth and final stage after a great dice with Adrian McIlvanny. The Monaghan man took a whopping 16 seconds out of Elliott to claim fourth. He remains on course for third overall in the Dunlop Championship. Michael Barrowell made a brave effort, but he knows another national title has slipped from his grasp. Eight rallies, six wins, two second places, and that is secures the Dunlop National Rally Championship for Eugene Donnelly. What a stunning debut for Macclefield's Jim Harrison and Harvey Bell. The first time in an S8 Subaru, he nets his first ever rally victory, and he's an extremely popular winner of this Clare Rally. And the leaders at the Declare Stages Rally, Patrick Elliott in fifth, Adrian McAvaney in fourth, Michael Barable in third, Eugene Donnelly in second, and Jim Harrison and Harvey Bell in first. Jim, it has been a long-awaited and a well-deserved win. Uh, yeah, long awaited is right. It's been a long time. Um, we were just saying about it on the way down. Um, how many years have been coming over here? He's already started here. Yes. <laughs> um, I reckon about 10 years we've been coming over to Ireland, so it's the first win we've had. So, it's a long time. Harvey, how do you feel after your first win on Irish soil? I'm ecstatic, actually. I think it's actually brilliant. He drove so well today. Um, I must say, it was reasonably frightening in there today. It was wet, slippy, and he just drove brilliantly. Congratulations, Eugene. This you made you made the championship look very easy, but in fact, I know it was a tough year for you. <laughs> Some chance would have been easy. Um, to be fair to Mega, he pushed me all the way. Like you know, um, the rounds there in the middle of the year were extremely hard. Uh, there was never that much between us. It was all, all it ever was was a spin at any time. Like and uh, fair play to him. I mean, that's what it's in the bag. I can't really believe it. I'm delighted, you know. Paddy, you haven't the championship wrapped up yet. You've still one round to go, but it shouldn't be too hard for the driver like Eugene beside you. No, it's uh, been a brilliant season, and, and he drives so smoothly and so well. And uh, we worked him well, fairly well as a team. And um, it's, it's been a great, great year, and it's just an unbelievable year. Well done, hooray. A delighted Eugene Donnelly and Paddy Toner take this year's Dunlop National Rally Championship. Right of a bump and jump, 100. 
stay left of a crest, 70, cut slight right, 50, slight right of a bump, 30, slight right of less of a crest and jump, 100, crest and fast right. Here, here, here. 50, crest and medium right. And crest and medium left minus. It's cut slight left, 30, cut max left, 70, cut slight right of a crest, 50, cut slight right. 30, cut max left, 100, cut fast right, and stay right, fast left plus, and max right, 50, fast left, continue, slow it, and cut fast right plus, into, deceptive, stay right of a junction, fast left, 70, max bump, and fast right, 50, fast left, 70, don't cut, medium left, long, and immediate cut fast right, 70, slowing, crest and medium, medium right, 50, slight right into max crest, and go slight left, 30, 90 left, 90. The Dunlop National Rally Championship. Well, we're high up in the hills of Donegal for the final round of the Dunlop National Rally Championship. We know from the last round in Clare that Eugene Donnelly has been claimed this year's 2003 National Rally Champion. However, he's here this weekend in all his glory in order to help his co-driver Paddy Toner take the co-driver's prize. Second place has been claimed by Michael Barbell, but the battle is on between winner of the last round, James Harrison, and Monaghan man, Adrian McIlvanny, in order to take third place. For those two guys, all has yet to be decided here at the Donegal Harvest Rally. Jim Harrison, winner of the last round in Clare, makes a cautious start and finds himself 23 seconds off the lead. 30, here. Crest and go in, fast left plus. 30, slight left, 50, max crest. 30, max right of a crest, 100, care, dip and bump. 30, slight right here. It's been a good season for Adrian McIlvanny. However, a sticking trottle is causing him problems here, and there's a long way to go. Two right over a crest. 60, one right into a crest of the house. And one right into a three right of the gate. Would be three right of the gate. And four left in. And one right over a crest. Patrick Elliott is certainly regaining his early season form and is keen to do well in the Northwest. This is Kevin Lynch's first full season in rallying, both on tarmac and on gravel surfaces, and he's improving all the time. Local Letterkenny driver Ivan Stewart is on a hot pace today and will actually finish the stage in second place. James Gillen from Castle Derg makes light work of the slippery conditions and slots into third. Newly crowned Dunlop champion Eugene Donnelly set the pace on the opening stage and opens up a 12 second lead. And that's without the intercom system, which failed to work with Paddy Toner resorting to sign language. Alan Nesbitt has already got a number of top six finishes and he's hoping to aim for the same here in Donegal. David McNulty makes a cautious start in the flame spinning escort Cosworth. All the way down to the bottom. Two left at pole, 30. Keep it on in it. At the pole now, two left, 30. And then a small dip into jump. 40, slippy open six right. Slippy open six right. Hard charging describes the style of Fermanagh's Gary Jennings. He's also quite spectacular to watch. 100, the flat right at the pole. 80, slippy, fast three left at the wall. Repeat slippy, 60. Stay in the middle over flat crest. 80, crest unseen four. Paddy, this is a very
very important event for you. Um, you seem to be having problems this morning. Are you nervous about maybe finishing today? Uh, well, we weren't nervous until we got to the start of the first stage and we discovered that our intercoms wasn't working. So we did the first two stages blind. Uh, and was, I'm nervous now because <laughs> uh, we kind of half of it solved here at service, but we're not really sure whether it's right or not. But as Eugene and Paddy head into stage three, it all goes wrong for them. Titans, stay in the middle to one left. Oh. You alright? Yeah. With Donnelly out, Adrian McIlvany now has to chase the leader, Jim Harrison, who is almost half a minute ahead of the Monaghan man, who himself is bidding to secure a third overall in the Dunlop series. In difficult conditions, Patrick Elliott has worked his way up to fifth spot. Kevin Lynch slid his Subaru off the road, but lost over two minutes and dropped him down to 50th place. While Ivan Stewart and Jared Callahan hold on to sixth overall. Jim Harrison has punctured his Subaru and the frailing rubber has ripped some of the bodywork. Nevertheless, he's the new rally leader. 30, Max Leto has 70. Right left over crest continues and opens. 70, stay left for fast right minus. Keep going quick. This is minus here. Minus. James Gillen, who is driving the older escort, is holding on to a commanding third overall. Armaz Alan Nesbitt brings his Toyota into ninth place and also wins his class in the Border Championship. Gary Jennings continues to exert the maximum from the nimble Pujo. Yeah, fast 80, fast three right over gravel. Repeat, fast three right over gravel, 80. Fast four right, 80. Middle over crest, fast three right. David McNulty makes steady progress in his trusty Ford Cosworth. Absolute crest jump dip, 80. And one left absolute small crest, 170. Bump 40, two left long to turn square right. Adrian McIlvany is on course to secure a third overall in the series, but he has to concentrate and ensure he doesn't throw it all away. 100. Keep right up middle over crest, 150 to the top. Turn six right. Jim Harrison, doing well, actually extends his lead over McIlvany to 39 seconds right and is heading for his second right win in a row. 70, Max left over crest, 150. Max left over crest, here, 150. Max left over crest, slow it, fast left, slow it. Patrick Elliott remains in sixth place and is determined to make it to the finish. Ivan Stewart still has some work to do to catch the similar car of James Gillen. James Gillen is now fourth and closing in on third place. Kevin Lynch is moving back up the order. After losing two minutes earlier, he's now 32nd overall. Alan Nesbitt is much higher up. In fact, he's eighth overall. Gary Jennings loses a few valuable seconds when he had a slight overshoot, but still pushes on. Slap two right, Brave, 120. The flat left. 80, the flat right. 140, the crest. Flat right, Brave over crest. David McNulty and Martin McGarrity take a cautious approach over this very big jump. Day. Small crest into jump dip 40, slippy square right on and right. Slippy square right on and right. Stay in the middle. 170. Adriel McIlvany may have been pipped for second today, but he claims enough Dunlop points to secure a third in the Dunlop National Championship. 
James Gillen's efforts over the closing stages were rewarded and he came through to take second. It's been a terrific end of season for Jim Harrison and Harvey Bell, who take their second victory in a row, winning by 54 seconds. Jim, it was a good end to the season with two wins in a row. You must be getting the hang of these Irish roads. Yeah, absolutely delighted. I mean, it couldn't have been better that. Yeah, really good. It didn't look to be going so well on stage three. You had a puncture. Yeah, we um, halfway through we just uh, we had, everybody else in the world seems to have had don't cut, but we didn't. So we hit uh, a rock in the inside, and the tire just went down, and unfortunately ripped the wing off as it uh, went down. But it be, with it being not a long stage, we uh, we didn't lose too much time on it, so it was okay really. Do you think you might be back next year? I'd love to be back next year. I'd love to have a good go at this championship. I'd have a good go at uh, Mr Eugene Donnelly, which would be <laughs> the good thing to have a go at. But yeah, great result today, really, really good. Jim Harrison and Harvey Bell popped the corks on this, the last round of the Dunlop Championship, but they celebrated with this year's winner, Eugene Donnelly, who splashes our camera. And the overall standings of the Dunlop National Rally Championship. Sean Gallagher has 88 points in fifth. Jim Harrison, 119 in fourth. Adriel McAvaney in third. Michael Barable in second with 142. And Eugene Donnelly in first with 156 points. Three, two, one, go. And pole 80, fast three left. 40, wipe out. Fast three left continues into fast five right. Repeat, into fast five right. 60. Flat right, 40. Flat left, into crest and fast three, four left. Watch it here, fast four left. And flat right. 100, caution, fast two left, into turn, fast square right line. Fast square right. 200. Fast three left in 40, middle over flat crest, 40, middle over flat crest, brave, 200, over flat crest, 300, fast three right in over crest pump, repeat fast three right in over crest pump into caution, 100 crest, five left, repeat crest, five left here, 40, flat three right over crest, 180 to fast four right over crest 80 to flat left 40 fast three left in 40 right over crest continues into flat three right repeat flat three right 100 middle over crest brave 60 fast three left in repeat fast three left in 60 crest and fast three right 80 left 100 Crest, fast two left over gravel, wipe out, unseen five left. Wipe out, unseen five left. 80 slippy to fast five right of the trailer. Fast five right, 40, flat two right, fast two left in, two right in, 40, flat left, 60, flat right, fast four left. 80, flat left, 40, flat right, 80, fast, 4 right. Into flat 2 left, brave, 120. Flat 2 left at the pole, 80, fast 3 left, and fast 4 right. Repeat, fast 4 right, 240. Flat 2, oh sorry, fast 2 right, 40, fast 4 left. Mind it here, back off here. The fast 4 left, into flat 2 right. 60, fast three left, opens at the pole, 120, flat right, 100 over crest, flat two left, 100, to flat left at the post, repeat flat right at the post, 60, flat two left brave, 80, the fast two left continues, 100, flat left breaking, wipe out, 40, five left, repeat breaking, wipe out, 40, five left. Hello and welcome once again to On The Limit Sports. With only three rounds remaining in the national... Where you go? The number of WRC cars... In... Right, one second now. The number of WRC cars... 
understand what it's there to see. The number of WRC cars competing in the National Rally Championship has increased more and more, but there's no way we can forget about the king of rallying, the Mark II F car. <laughs> the job of a driver. They really have to basically drive flat out while maintaining some kind of control on the road. But I've been wondering all year, what does the co-driver do? And I was told, well, they read pace notes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do for Ali O'Donovan here in Punchestown. All right, Ali. Actually, I was looking through this pace notes and I see, see, see the Ali O'Donovan. It's a bit big headed, you know, like he's getting me to read pace notes and it's all about him. Like, do you see that? No, really. These what? are pace notes. These are the ones you need to read. What? Today. What is this now? These are pace notes. Oh, hold on now. At least these, at least these pace notes are English. Like, what's this here? I'll read. You better learn very quick. We are ready to go. Okay. Not a bother. We'll give it a try. <laughs> Can I go to the toilet now? Oh, wait. Oh, we're going away. <laughs> Am I supposed to be counting down? Okay, seven left, two right, through the kids. We have a kind of question done up me, and I have an answer ready. Read us the race. Yeah. What does it mean? What do you want to say? Uh, well, at the start of the year, our aim was the Billy Coleman Award. Is this a rehearsal? Well, if it goes well, it's the real thing, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> we'll only get it once. <laughs> <laughs> well then we were taken with the tub. Jeez, this is worse than the start of a stage. <laughs> Mark, this rally certainly seems to be taking a toll on the group end, guys. Ah, it's tough. Uh, stage are very tough out there now, especially stage three. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. I hear we are going to stop that. This rally certainly seems to be taking a toll on the group end, guys. What's happening out there? You're right about days. Where are you, Dudley? <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, we'll have a look let's at go. something else there in a minute. We're not interviewing him. Come on, come on. <laughs> Well, you may not realise it, but you have built up a huge. Sorry. <laughs> uh, right. Paul, you are the spectators to light out there, but what is underneath this bonnet of the starlet? Which is a Tom Casey special. Bad enough, he's a good man at building engines, so he's the man who has the power on the back wheels for me. So, if you're stuck for a tune up, go to Tom, he'll take care of you. Niall, you're lying joint second with Mick Barbell. How do you feel you're performing out there today? <laughs> I was running number eight on the road now, and only have to move me now to number one. For what reason, I don't know. You must be good. No, I'm not that good, so I'm not, you know. Look at her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's done, guys.
This surely was a hot battle in every sense here in Tontnatar. This surely was a hot battle in every sense. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Clan Mel, but Eugene Donnelly has done it once again, scoring maximum points to add to his championship scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, we normally see you driving a P2000. Today you're in a different standard of a car. Um, yeah, it's first time out in a new car, so um, we haven't really... Uh... Tell us what it is. Like. Oh, it's an S8. <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Rolling. Okay. Two of you gorgeous. Oh, just like... Quit looking into me. He's looking at will you? <laughs> right. Titans, stay in the middle to one left. Right? Yeah. Fast. What was that? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Go! Here we go. Start. Turn the hairpin left. Two right. Through the gates, Eugene. That's it. Oh, sorry. One twenty. Keep right. What's that? Legs eleven or something? <laughs> Seventy. Turn. Uh, HP. HP sauce. Is it? HP sauce. Right. Doing too bad. Keep her lit, keep her lit. This isn't a problem at all. Look at this, look at this. Oh, how is he going? <laughs> okay, okay. That uh, looks like a square right, but I can't find it on the note, so we'll just turn a page here. Okay, I'm 40. Square right. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Slippy should be written here somewhere. One right over up. Jump on Six right. Six right. Braddock. Braddock. Get out! Jesus, lovely, you're comfortable here, hey. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> hey, Mickey, I'm getting all six out of here, lad. <laughs> Give it up, Breed, you're making me all randy. <laughs> and quit. <laughs> Mark, there's just a point between yourself and Derek Job in the championship. It's make or break time. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Your favourite driver, Irish driver, okay? And you say McKinnon. Desi Keenan. Keenan. Desi Keenan. Ah, dat geeft een beetje sprake brek maar. Ik ben ik ben zo Groninger, de 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 helemaal de boven Groninger. Listen, listen, listen. Yes. Desi Keenan. Keenan. Desi. Desi. And Sean Moriarty. Okay. Yeah. Sean speaks a bit like you as well. Ik zal proberen om tot aan. Okay. Als niet lukt, als niet lukt, dan moet maar weer verder. They do you next now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a clue what he's saying. <laughs> Ali, you had some major problems of your own last night. Yeah, we had. We had. <laughs> <laughs> In this rallying game, drivers take their sport very seriously indeed. And <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Even Eugene Donnelly has taken extra safety now. precautions Aye. this weekend. Look at him with the helmet. Look at him. Look at him. Champion eye. Look at him. <laughs>
Yeah, oh, geez, I can't look now. Regis, look over at that. Well, my eyes are just popped. Regis, it's not my fault if you. This must be behind your eyes, isn't it? No. No, that's not nice looking like that. You, Regis. I'll put him on. <laughs> okay, so we'll just leave it like that. We'll do the interview like that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Adrian, how are you finding it out there this morning? Uh, just starting to saddle in. There's a car after driving over my foot there. Fuck, I think there's a bone broken my bone broke in my foot. 41 right through the dip. 60 left and straight jump. 86 right at the gate. Repeat, 6 right at the gate. Here. Run through the gate, through the gate, through the gate. Okay, yeah. I believe you have a bit of news for us, for all your rally f followers and fans. Oh, no real major news, no. Well, no, I, I believe there is. <laughs> huh? I'm never one to blow about anything. And go on, well, tell us, what was the big, <laughs> big announcement during the week? Oh, I did get my degree. Right, well, yes. fair play, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolute crest, 2000. Absolute right in dip, 2000. Turn 90 right. All right, watch the turn 90 right. The fuck did all the feathers come from? And it's all flat to the next junction now, alright? Never mind the feathers, alright? Fuck the feathers. Straight crest and jump over bridge. Five left at the junction, two right. Okay? Yep. Yeah. No, you're all right. See where she start. See where she start. Jim, it's a very close battle in the two rear rail drive class. <laughs> Sorry. <That's a> game. <laughs> right, come on now. Jim, it's a very close battle in the two rear rail. <laughs> Jim, it's a very close battle in the two rear wheel drive. <laughs> Go on, keep it to her. Fucking six left. And gravel and bump. Open. Into four right. Over press Titans. Just James, what happened to you? What happened to me? I, I'm telling everybody it's a love bite, actually. <laughs> but it was actually my dog protecting the child, so they say you can never trust the dog. <laughs> it's obviously true. That's when she looks into me eyes, you see, she <laughs> fucks me head up. <laughs> 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 Derek job has to be watched and Willie Fannon's going to be going for a class win so uh, we'll push as hard as we can. Not any better for you. <laughs> okay folks and on a more serious note it's time to talk budget. We know times are hard but here in On The Limit Sports we feel the pinch as well. I think it's time to take a few cutbacks. This is a very serious matter. <laughs> <laughs> In association with Pace Notes.